Sound of the Waves, 1939. Oil on Canvas. Chen Tempo has always been good at painting the green trees and red architecture. While these two colors hardly match each other, he makes use of the black color to get the two colors unified together. In this picture, he shows the scene of ocean and rock, with the colors blue and brown dominating the view. Void of the thick green trees and any architecture. The vivid depiction of the waves lets people feel the rhythmic sound made from the striking of the waves upon the rocks along the shore. That's why Chen named this painting The Sound of the Waves. After pounding the rocks, the big waves break into numerous bubbles, turning round and round on the shoal, then vanishing gradually into the gaps among the rocks. It's a scene of sentimental meaning, reflecting the endless changes that life brings. This painting was displayed in the second Taiwan Art Exhibition, depicting the seashore around Mao Bi To, a tourist site on the southern tip of Taiwan. The main structure of the work starts from the tree and the path in the foreground, via the rocks and the waves at the end of Taiwan Island. The whole picture looks more dynamic through vivid scenes such as the sunny beach, the rocky shore struck by waves, and the lonely angler. In addition, the near and far views are presented distinctly through layered coloring. This painting is about Mao Bi To Scenic Area at Hong Chun Township in Pingdong County. Kenting Street is one of the most popular places in Taiwan. Mao Bi To Scenic Area is very close to the Kenting National Park, where most people across the island visit. From the Er Ruan Bi Lighthouse to the south, you are able to get a great view of the Pacific Ocean and the Bass Strait. Going north along the coastal road, either by car or bike, you'll enjoy a comfortable trip between ocean and mountain before arriving at the National Museum of Marine Biology and Aquarium.